Hi guys, I'm Yasin Bones, a comedian from Cape Town, and I'm traveling with Muhammad Fakir in this very nice. Say the name Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Eclipse Cross. Okay, so Yasin Bones, comedian. Uh, who is he? Where is he from? So I'm from Bawa initially and then we moved to Randebosch East. Uh, you were, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. So you were actually not always a southern boy? Nah, I'm from the north. It's a born and raised in the north and then only I think I was like 10 when we moved to Randebosch East. All the talent in the north though, <laughs> yeah? The, the north there has undiscovered sure. gems. I really didn't know Where that. Where are you from then? No, I'm from, so I'm from the southern side of Plumstead. I don't know if anybody knows that side but um, so I'm looking for my cars and drivers, uh, <laughs> the test cars especially. But um, yeah, I actually had no idea that you are such a southern boy, you know. Nah. L- look, I'm, I was born on that side, but acclimatized this side, okay. if that makes sense. Okay. And then, um, yeah, uh, we went to Livingston High, went to UWC, did the honorable thing and didn't what, finish. What did you study? <laughs> I'll be the BA, okay. Psych and English. I okay. just, I have. The classic BA Psych. The classic English, BA yeah. Psych. And then I have like one semester to finish and I just didn't finish. I left, I was like, so I'm So you had one semester left? One semester left. So I'm also you a UW's boy, uh, also a Bachelor of Arts actually. So yeah, I think maybe you, you, you end up in the arts anyway. Yeah, it's a. Uh, the thing is, the, the, the BA degrees, uh, like everybody make out with a BA degree, they're like, oh, we can't even feed a family, whatever nonsense. But what the BA degree for me gives you is life skills. I think it, I think it equips you with like this diversity and and of, of like just education and you know, you get your, you know, you, you're a student, you have student life and things like that. But there is, because you can choose so many different subjects, people don't know that like, you, you you know you get to know a lot more. yes uh, you know a lot more you, you find yourself also you, you're a well-rounded person <laughs> more, <laughs> I think <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe other these, disciplines don't kill us with us no? also maybe those are things BA students tell, tell ourselves <laughs> no probably yeah probably. and then yeah dropped out went to go do just random jobs like I've done so many weird weird things I was a diamond grader at one point like I had to have a qualification in like telling you what color your diamond is okay, and, and okay. that thing did that for like a year I worked at Timberland for a year I worked at Kicks for two years retail and, and um, what did else did I do? and when did, when did, when did comedy come? You know, come in. I was a photographer also for a few years and a videographer okay and then I worked in insurance for a year also and then in the same year that I did insurance was the year I started comedy and um, yeah that, you know the thing of once you find it's like a drug you go once I do it once I go this is my thing I want to do this forever I don't care if it pays or not but this is my thing and then yeah, the more I started doing it the more support I got I got from like the community and from the industry and then it just so, so this is a tough question but what was like your first gig? Yo. It was in a shoebox in a shittle in OBS. I don't know if I can say shittle, but anyway. <laughs> Let's say it twice. Um, yeah, in OBS. And um, it was very weird because I was doing what I thought was jokes. And like, and my friends came through and we it was, they laughed and everything. And, um, but yeah, I thought it was like, I was telling stories and I realized like after like my third or fourth gig, is like, yo, I mustn't tell stories. Stories is not my thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I do storytelling is like a whole other that's thing. an art form of its own yeah, yeah. for me i can do short jokes dad jokes that's my thing like i have adhd i realize only later that i do short things because i don't have the concentration so um then someone in the crowd was like yo just recite your tweets like your tweets are funny go find your tweets and then do them on stage okay yeah I actually I, that's yeah your tweets are funny it's, i mean like i know uh like in my household um like I have five siblings that all oh, would know your tweets <laughs> or of them, you know, it's funny. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, so I've learned how to tell jokes in 140 characters before Twitter was 280. That time already. And um, and then from there, that's basically been the brand and it's become what I do. And yeah, so. So, so you were basically uh, like you were in the industry when things became, when, when, when the whole influencer term came up and then you realized. Yeah. So I'm an influencer automatically as well. Yeah, yeah. So that was also like a weird thing because I started comedy I think like nine years ago. So it was on the cusp of, of people being influencer and people being like, like uh, yeah, those things. 
and then it's just that thing of like the following grew because the career grew and then it just became a thing where people were like yo we have this thing will you punt it and yeah like, okay it's cool and then i never realized like oh shit i'm doing influencer work so 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 when was it like when was it like i don't know you can mean you know, if you want to mention the brand if you want to if you don't want to but like when, which brand or what what did you do before like what was the first brand or partnership or kind of ad you did where you were like sure this is like cool i'm actually like <laughs> doing <laughs> advert <laughs> stuff like yo um I can't remember the first, but like but maybe oh, something that was like yeah, oh the the big ones. Yeah, what was it? It was cool for you. I mean, I've seen you on OTs. Yeah, I did OTs or so. Jive was a big one. Um, I did. Yeah, when did I do Jive? Yeah, J- Jive was a big cam- of the biggest campaigns that I've done. Okay. Because I also because I was a comedian and I worked with them on the Funny Fest and they had a campaign coming up. Everything just lined up, and they were like, "Yo, let's." So they put me uh, as part of the team to develop the concept for the campaign, which was nice, though. So it's not just "Yeah, punt this thing." Yeah. It's "Yeah, what do you think of this thing? How can we make it sound like you and feel like you?" Which I always enjoy with brands. Um, and then yeah, like once I saw that, "Yo, you can actually make money from the socials." This is, yeah. "Yo, this is dope." <laughs> <laughs> I need to invest. I yeah. Need to invest. But now, like, what was? What do, I know, I was, look, I started my channel now in 2020, right? Um, and before that, I had a blog. But during 2020, I had like, I had like my, 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 my family and my friends were like, but like, are you gonna make money? Are you gonna do <laughs> stuff? You know, that's the main thing. So, what was it like telling like your parents or like your support structure? Oh, you know, you know what? I'm gonna be a comedian. <laughs> like, you don't get, I don't know anyone else that's like, goes that that, yeah. that that I can say is oh you know they're actually like a full time comedian yeah. like in terms of thing can yeah but um, a you you're a comedian <laughs> you know you're an artist that's basically so I was the year I was doing the insurance I was it was also study it was like a um, a learnership program so I had, I had to do I had to write my exam to to basically qualifications in insurance and then the night I had to write my exam was the same it was the next day I got asked to do it's all like in my calendar like clashed I got asked to do Comedy Central, um, a special. Okay, okay, that's cool. Then you, yeah, but now you can do it. Then you realize, like, I'm doing something. Uh, yeah, but also, I do tell your parents, yo, I'm just, thank you for this qualification thing. I'm not going to finish with it. My dad's an insurance, so obviously, oh. that, Then I was like, yo, dad, I'm not going to do this thing. I'm going to go tell jokes professionally. Like, this is the thing. Also, we come from a world where this world doesn't exist. Yeah, you know course. what I mean, like the, the freelance world and uh, the world as being an artist. It's like and risky and yeah. it's not stable and like uh, it's like what are you? What, what do you mean? Like is that the yeah. job? Is yeah, like the job? is the is the money in this thing? So then, I, then luckily my parents were like, "Yo, we'll give you, we'll give you six months, right? Okay. You can live here six months. You go work, then we see you see like you see what it looks like, and then we can decide from the what you must do with your life." So I was like, "Okay, cool." Then in that six months, the influencer stuff picked up, the comedy picked up, and then they were like, "Okay, safe." Once I could tell my parents how much I actually got paid <laughs> for that campaign, yeah, for, for like those things, for a show, and yeah, you know? yeah, okay. So then they were like, "Okay, it's fine. You can pay your own bills. You're becoming like responsible as a as a uh, adult." And then they were like, "Okay, it's fine. This is a real job." They they still don't understand it because if I go, "Oh, I'm flying up to Joburg for the day. You're gonna do a show. Come back." Then they're like. Now who pays for the things? And I was like, oh, it's, it's part of the job. I this people always <laughs> ask, are you paying for yes, the flights? Who pays this? People it? think, people think, oh, you're going to a phone launch or yeah. a car launch. You are you paying for all those flights? You must be <laughs> you're like, no, dude. It's like I I, I don't have cash to blow. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, not in this economy. I don't no, have all. The, so then yeah, so then like uh, I'll come like like my parents. They supported me. They gave me the breaks I needed, and um, and now I get to do my job with as much support from them and uh, the rest of the family. But also, I, my sister, uh, Rishka, she's a photographer. So she, is it Rishka? Rishka. Is it Rishka or Rishka? So it is Rishka, but, you, but I called her Rishka because I couldn't say Rishka, uh, Rishka as a child. And so I just call her Rishka. <laughs> so now it confuses Shout everybody. Shout out to her. <laughs> she's a photographer. She's amazing. Uh, Rishka Barnes. So if you do want to go, like, if you want a photographer. Go um, find her. Yeah, she's she's amazing. She's really, really good. So, um, so she was a freelancer. So in terms of, like, my parents had an understanding of... of the culture. The yes, freelance yes, culture. Yes. You hustle, you work, yes. you make things happen, your times are weird, you deliver different t- like, and paycheck to paycheck, but 
in your own time as well. Yeah. So there's like, a lot of like responsibility. Yeah. Like, like and, and like rationing, I presume, like like budgeting, like yes, forecasting, yes. you know. And, and but that's so. the thing, like as a as a freelancer, and I count myself as a freelancer. No one teaches you. You must do marketing. You must do advertising. One hundred. You must do. You must do budgeting. You must do invoices. I hate invoices so much. Then you must do your own job, and you must be good at all of those things to keep your own business afloat. And then you must also you must uh, present your brand exactly. like this. Exactly. Your outfit, you go. It's like I'm not wearing a shirt today. <laughs> and that's so not me. You know. I mean, I go on holiday and I go on a walk on the beach and then. My brothers ask for a selfie because they know I'm wearing a shirt. But today I thought, ah, you know, sometimes in the cars I like to. No, it, but wear a but this is the thing. You know? It's like how you look, how you present, how you speak to people. No one teaches you that because I go. The only thing I want to do is tell jokes. I want to be funny. That's all I want to yeah. do in my life, and then I need to learn all these other things of like rate cards and and Media other, kits. yes, and what pe- when you when you post, what it must look like, what it must checking feel out like. your analytics and oh, things that, like that. And now I must learn how to edit videos and edit my own things. I'm like, I don't, this is not supposed to be the job, but you learn it and that you sort of find your own love for those things. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like like Rishka went through that, and then I sort of went through it with her as well, and then it helped me. Uh, by build my own brand, like so. That. It's not like it's not like people think we. It's a family full of artists, <laughs> and it's a family full of artists and stuff. We we are like again. At my parents, I'm grateful for them. They they've given us the opportunity to be what we want. To like, yo, go try this thing. We'd like you to do this, but if you find your passion somewhere, then go go be that. Yeah, thing. Th- you can double in something. Yeah, if it works out, cool. But don't like invest yourself. Yes. In, like, uh, if it's not working out, be responsible still with all the things. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, and then because of be, because you have this, when you have a good support structure, you really can flourish as a person. Because you go, I can take the risk, and I know my people will tell me when I'm wrong. But people will call me for my shit, but they'll also support me in in the times that I need them. And the, even the times you don't need them, and they they that stuff that's gold. Okay, okay, cool. So if I were to ask you now uh, some fun question, if you could choose between uh, invisibility or flying, which one would you choose, and why? It's flying. It's definitely flying. The price of petrol is <laughs> expensive. <laughs> I'm choosing really flying. Right. I anywhere in the world I can fly. Invisibility is just. It's crime. If you're gonna be a perv or you're gonna do crime, that's what invisibility does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Because you're either gonna. In that go case, I'm glad if that's your reasoning for invisibility. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. don't. Just nobody choose invisibility. Yeah. So if anybody chooses invisibility, guys, yeah, it's South suspect. Africa flight is yeah. Flight is <laughs> um, so like, in terms of the industry and stuff, like, what's it like for you? Like, how do you feel? Uh, Being a, like, a Muslim and a colored person. Yeah, in, like in terms of like people of color, in terms of like religion, um, like what boundaries do you have to sit or um, do, you, do you feel like maybe this like at sometimes people like have a certain perception of you before others, be, whereas like some people, let's say like a non person of color or someone that's non like not Muslim on their name yeah, yeah. already. Uh, like, is there some perception of you, of you already made? Like, some in some in some instances. So, look, we all have our own stereotypes when people see us. Do you see anybody? As a country, I feel like we go, that is a black man. You are the stereotype attached to you. Yeah. A lot of people have that. A lot. We all have our different versions of that. And it's the same thing with coloured and white and all of that. But at the same time. Um, for me, stand up allows me to break those things. Because mm. when you go up there, I go. When we laugh, we don't think of anything else other than the thing that made us laugh. So we're sharing. Okay, so what was it like to tell your parents or your like support structure that you're actually gonna become a comedian? Yo, because that's your title, comedian. Yeah, that that's also blows my mind that I go. I, it feels like I'm having such a good time. Someone's gonna say, "Stop! Uh, this is your time is done. Go get a, a real job now." But Alhamdulillah, it's been now for the last eight years um, that I am a comedian full time, and so I was busy with the learnership. I was studying to uh, studying for the qualification in uh, insurance. Okay. And then comedy was picking up at the same time, and it was so weird because in the day I'd be I felt like Batman because in the day I'd be like doing normal things like a normal person, and then at night being on big stages with big names. And you said, and, and, and you yeah. said you 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 your your dad is. In insurance. Yeah. So, so it was like trying to like, okay, 
is not studying anymore. Let's try to get him a real follow job. Those, yeah, follow follow the footsteps, maybe. See if you like. See if you like what dad's doing. Yeah, and then the thing of you, you also realize like your parents just want the best for you. They go if you have a um, a salary that covers you every month. That's what that's what our parents knew. They didn't know freelancers yeah. existed. Then I had to tell them because there was a time I wrote my exams and I had to get my qualification. Um, the day I had to write my exams for my qualification insurance was the day I got asked to do a Comedy Central special. Okay, and that was like it's a, it's a big deal. It was yeah. a big deal. It is a big deal. Yes, and then yeah. I had to tell my parents like, "Yo, I want to do the comedy thing." Then it's a big talks because my dad's like, "Yo, can you earn money? What does money look like?" It's oh. gonna be, you know, like it. Like at the yeah. time I was like, "No, don't do me for sin." But now I go. It's a reasonable this. question. Yeah, yeah, it's questions that sh- sh- you Adult, should ask. Adulting, yeah. Yeah. adulting questions. I mean, yeah. And then they gave me like I'm grateful they gave me like six months to like just do my own thing and learn this industry. Um, and then that essentially. After that, they were like, "Okay, it's fine. You're earning money." And in that time, I learned about influencing work and stuff like that, like building the brand, punting things, getting the paid. The brand? What's the brand? What's the brand? Yo, the brand is. Okay. Yeah. With the, with so with the little platforms. Yeah. Okay. So with like the little platforms we build on social media, with the little following, like we mustn't only see it as only one thing because we can use it for good. Because there's times where you can just share someone's business and you, you know, they get the punt whether they exactly because business doesn't happen now. So I see the thing and I'm gonna buy it now. You go, maybe I see it and I go, maybe in a month's time I go, yo, I need to buy a bed. But I saw Muhammad share the thing about the guy that sells beds, then the business happens. Yes, so it's uh, s- social media is very much I mean, in your face, and then once you see it, it happens. Only. Like the other day, I m- one of my friends sent me a screenshot of say. That someone tagged me, but I never got it because their account is private. Oh. So, 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 um, and I don't, I don't know them. Yeah, yeah. So, some someone sent the screenshot to me because they follow this person that bought a pair of headphones because of me, uh, uh, their husband a pair of headphones, and so it's this thanks meeting focus. And I was like, <laughs> that's so cool. Like, it's, it's very cute. It's so cool. Yeah, it, it, it's so it, it was my heart. One hundred percent. Because I also go sometimes I go I just like this thing. Um, maybe you guys could also like it. And maybe exactly. if you don't, it's also fine. So like those things, we like sometimes people will send me like food or cake and stuff, and I go, yo, I love cake. So when I get to share cake, no. I, it's it's also like a gift for me. Yeah, definitely. Um. And then also reviews is a very important thing. We sometimes you want to buy something, but money is so very precious and it means so much that you go when I buy something, it, I must know, and I also want to trust the person that's gonna tell me this because a lot of the times you see. This is why representation matters. When you see people that look like you, speak like you, review things and think and like you, liking something, yes, yeah, you go. I trust this person's opinion on 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 things. That's such a that's such a nice way of putting it, because um, the, I bought uh, pizza. I don't know. Shout out to Montasio. I don't know if you know Montasio. I don't, but I'm gonna go try it now. Uh, they, they have this pizza. It's called the Archic. Anyway, the prices are really good, and they open 24 hours. I don't think anymore because yeah. of COVID, but yeah, yeah. Uh, they are open. Like till the early hours of the morning, and like someone sent a picture to me uh, to say they tag me also like about food. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'd never think that someone's gonna go <laughs> buy because of me. And that means like you actually don't know what difference you're making in terms of for a business and also for someone's experience. Yeah. But and it's also the thing of it's not the follower guy. If you have a hundred followers and you share something and only 10 people see it but one person buys that yes. it means that you have helped someone's business exactly so when if you <laughs> find something you like i always tell people like yo just share it like just tell people yo i like this thing Act, like, the, don't see because a lot of times people have this weird um, view on influencers where they go oh no they just they acting they're so pretentious all this other stuff but they're also just helping an industry they're helping people's business and if if you want people to punt it maybe you must also punt your own things punt your friends things then you just see business grows because it's um, word of mouth. Social media is also word of mouth. It's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's just in a different format. Yeah. yeah. So by all means, uh, share your friends' businesses. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just got a little bit hot, so I needed to take the jacket off. Yasin, I just want to say a big thank you to you. Um, <laughs> and I want to know uh, which is your shop of choice. Take a lot or superfluous? Um, I'm take a lot. Eh? It's a gadgets for me. Okay. The, the, okay. the gadgets don't take a lot as my heart. So. so, so this video is not sponsored yet. Um, so from meeting focus, I'd like to give Yasin a 500 rand take a lot voucher to spend on whatever goodies he wants to. 
so uh, yeah that's what I'm meeting focus not sponsored not sponsored um, thanks so much and that's also um, uh, yeah something to a motivational factor uh, for someone else if you want someone else to be in a drive with me let me know uh, drop your comments down below thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe I, I hope you subscribe and by she, now and she and, and she, she and she and follow Yasin at Yasin uh, Barnes and then on Twitter he's quite funny and your, your <laughs> handle is yeah I seen him it's like have you seen him yeah I seen him okay okay I'm cool. with the handle when I was young and I'm sorry guys <laughs> okay so so see him yeah yeah I seen him on Twitter um, yeah so thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Shukran for the budget. Bye. Peace.